All right, so I thought I'd do a quick video here of uh, my new air compressor here that I built. Uh, same components as the other one on my channel, uh, just a little bit different here. Um, I welded these two pieces of, I believe, 16 gauge um, steel to the tank, uh, drilled holes for the compressor, and then uh, cut a slot in the this one here for the engine. Um, that gives that allows me to tighten and loosen the belt if I need to change it or whatever. Um, the way I have this designed um, is it comes out of the pump here and goes into the tank via right here. Um, this piece up here is a one-way valve, so it allows air to go into the tank but not to return back out. This white uh, piece of tube here goes down um, over to my uh, unloader valve right here and that comes in right here. This is my unloader valve. Um, what it does is it controls um, the cut in and cut out pressure. Um, this up here releases the pressure um, to allow for easier starting. I uh, have my pressure gauge as well as my um, ball valve. So this is my bullwhip throttle control. It's connected uh, into my unloader valve and it runs up to into the engine here. Um, so it runs, I don't know if you can see right here, um, this would be the throttle, um, but it's connected up um, via this cable. So when my air pressure reaches a certain pressure in the tank, uh, it idles the engine and then uh, pops open a little valve um, inside here and that releases the air that the compressor puts out. So I'm gonna fire it up here and show you kind of how it works. All right, so my compressor is running pretty good right now. Uh, it's idling, so it's releasing air through right here. Uh, I can get about some pressure in it. It's got about 110, 115 PSI. I can adjust the uh, cut in and cut out pressure the, uh, right here. Um, I believe it's tightened up like a spring. Um, so I'm going to show you how it kicks back in. So I'm going to release some air. And as the pressure drops, it should kick back in. <laughs> 